Hey everybody, welcome to Just For Yucks. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to actually do a how-to video on how to craft armor in Dragon Age Inquisition. So basically, we're going to craft everything from the very basic to the most advanced armor in the game. Um, along the way, I'm going to level up my character because you have to be the proper level to acquire the schematics and things to and materials I'm thinking to actually craft the best armor in the game so it's gonna be a multi-part series uh, I'm gonna start out by crafting very basic armor in this video we're gonna try to keep them short so let's get started huh okay um, so, I am around an, a level 11 right now. I'm not all the way like to the end of the game, but I'm definitely, I think I'm about halfway through. I'm going to just say this now, you do not need to be this far in the game to do this. I'm just showing you, it's the same, when I craft it in this place, it's going to be the same as me crafting it in the very beginning of the game. Uh, I think you get a few extra things, but there's not much. So don't concern yourself too much with how far along I am. There's a place to do this right in the beginning when you first start this game. And you have no choice. It's actually one of the first missions, so. Alright. Basically, before you even get started on crafting armor, you gotta collect materials. So I have a feeling I'm just gonna go grab... A couple things just to show you what a couple of the ores look like. Um, you get leather from killing animals and taking their skins. And sometimes you just find the leather on in loot bags and chests and things like that. So I'm going to go to the fast travel. Let's see here. Where do we want to go? Okay, the Forbidden Oasis is pretty plentiful with some ore and things like that. Let's start there, and let's gather some materials real fast. Doesn't matter which camp, I'm just gonna go... Ugh, doesn't matter what party either. God! Alright. Okay, here we are, Desert Oasis. So, to get crafting materials, basically, just roam around. As you're, I mean, if you're playing this game, you should be exploring anyway. Like, killing that little animal will probably give you some kind of skin or things like that. That's all crafting materials for making armor, weapons, all sorts of things. So, let me get, uh... That was annoying. Damn it. Okay. So, let me get down here. And let's see if we can find some uh, crafting materials. These are crafting materials, but not for armor or weapons. So, I don't know why I picked it up. And basically, like I said, you'll find ore and leather and things like that. You're going to find them all over the place. Don't really want to get into a fight right now. That's not what this video is about. So we're just going to run away. Okay, so there we go. Just hit your little beacon thing and it'll show you where some material is. This is what basically all the ore and things look like in the game. Now, this is like a basic serpent stone. But as you go further and further into the game, and you know your level increases, you start fighting bigger and bigger creatures, like being able to explore the areas you can't when you first get the game, um, that's when you'll be able to find things like fade-touched serpent stone and things like that, which is what actually allows you to craft like the best types of armor and things like that so 
Just hit the A button. Pretty sure if you're watching this, you already know how to do this. So you just cr get the crafting materials, pick them up everywhere you go. Always try to grab as much of them as you can. They do go away quickly. See, there's another one. I don't know how to say that. Paragon's Luster. There you go. Whatever. I'm sure somebody will correct me. Grab a little of that. Now, I already have all the materials we need, so I'm going to head back to... <laughs> I know I'm going to get this name wrong, because for some reason I can't remember it. I'm going to go back to Skyforge, I think. And uh, let's uh, craft some armor. Okay. Well, uh, I'm an idiot. This is not Skyforge. Uh, apparently I had Skyrim on the brain. This is actually called Sky Hold. Um, way too close of a name for me not to get them crossed. Uh, I love playing these types of games, so and Elder Scrolls is one of my favorites. So, forgive the uh, stupidity on my part. Okay, let's get to it. You're gonna find one of these benches in the beginning of the game as well. It's not just in this part of the game. There's also one for weapons, and then you got Skyhold customization, which you don't have to worry about because that's only if you're at this part in the game. However, you will have an upgrade potions place, and, you know, basically all that good stuff. It'll all be ready for you. There's also modify armor and modify weapons. Which, uh, we'll probably cover a little bit of that, too. Well, we don't have much of a choice, because if we want to make the best, you gotta do all those things. So, let's get started with crafting some armor. Okay. This menu here is all of the schematics that you have found. Um, again, you gotta just grind this game. You gotta find the schematics, otherwise you can't build the armor. So, I'm trying to think here. I'm going to build, uh, let me see, let's look for something that's pretty low level, so it kind of makes sense for if you're just starting. Um, here we go. Let's just craft a piece of scout armor. Uh, obviously, I'm a level 11 warrior, but it doesn't matter. The whole process is the same no matter what you're crafting. So, let's get started. Okay, so if you look at this, it tells you you need 10 leather, 4 metal, and this you don't have to worry about because that's not really... That's further in the game. So in the beginning, you're just going to be worried about these two guys here. Okay, so we need 10 leather. Do we have 10 leather? Canine leather, you're going to get right off the bat. So you will have this probably when you start doing that kind of stuff. And as you can see, I've gone through and I've found quite a bit of different types of leather. I know ram leather is something that you get right in the beginning. It's actually, I think it's another mission. So definitely do all the missions and you'll get the best armor. I promise you that. Also, you'll notice each armor has different characteristics. So, let's go back for a second. When I scroll through these two, notice this one says armor, and this one says defense. Well, that's going to make sense to you in a minute. Now, if you look at each one of these, where it says tier 2 common leather, you'll see primary slot, utility slot, offense slot, defense slot. Right now, we're looking for armor, which is basically the primary slot. So, when we pick canine leather, we'll see that it has a low armor rating. It's not going to be... It's not going to boost the armor rating, for sure. Whereas, let me see if I can find something a little bit better. I don't have enough of it, but let's just go with this. The primary slot now says medium armor rating. So, and you can see the armor rating is going to 112 versus... 95 with the canine leather. So, 
we're going to go with the canine leather because this is just the beginning. Now, I put 10 canine leather in there. And it will use 10 pieces, so that's why I said you got to collect materials. It's vital to crafting any armor or weapons. you got to have it. And always be in search of the best materials. Okay, so now, in defense, I need four metal. So I'm going to pick that. And again, same thing. Basically, each one has their own characteristic and what benefits it'll give you. Um, right now, we're in defense, so we're looking at the defense slot. And let me find... Iron is going to be plentiful right in the beginning of the game. So let's go with that. And you can see, defense slot, plus 1% melee defense. That's what we're going to get from putting this in. And if you look up, you see it flashing, four, plus 4%, 4 because we've put 4 pieces in. So it's plus 4% melee defense. Okay? This, I'm just going to put something in, which I really don't want to waste. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll get more. Okay, once you put in all of your pieces, and we're really just focused on these two, now just hit Y to craft item, and that's how you craft armor in Dragon Age Inquisition. And uh, I'll show you a few other things real quick, uh, like renaming. So for example, we can name this, uh, because I'm an idiot. I think this one's going to be named Dr. Digglesworth. There we go. Beautiful name. I think it's fitting of the very weak armor that I made for no reason. There you go. Now... All you have to do is accept, and that armor is crafted, and is now in your inventory. So, yeah, that's basically part one. I want to keep these short. Uh, part two, we'll craft something a little bit better, a little bit more advanced. And like I said, as I bring my character up to, you know, the max, I'll show you how to craft even the best armor by the end of this. So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you did enjoy the video, please uh, give us a subscribe, like the video, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, um, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace out.